blushing, you guys. He's blushing. Oh, he doesn't feel good. Drunk? He's drunk? You're underage. I think he was trying to seduce her. That was really weird. Hey, my little rainbows. We are back with another episode of the Royal Family. This episode is going to be pretty easy and pretty short because the last episode of the Royal Family took me like a week to edit and I'm just kind of tired. So we just need to take a little bit of a break. Also like my hand, I feel like has been getting some weird cramps and pains. And I think it's from like using like the mouse when you use the little scrolling thing on the mouse. I think that's why. And I think my like forearm is just like cramping up. So yeah. Yeah, anyway, but we're just going to do a few things in this episode. We're going to have Queen Leilana of Sulani. She's going to have her third baby. And then I'm going to update you guys on a few things. And then we're going to have Anya and Cornelius go on their very first date because the ship from you guys is so hard for them. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. So before we go to the royal family of Sulani, so uh, yeah, Leilana is in her third trimester. She should be having her baby very soon. So we'll kind of hang out with them. And then her grandmother, in case you're wondering, is still alive alive and then Makai I think I mentioned this before though Makai moved in with like back in with his parents because his parents are elders now and they're both kind of getting sick and they probably don't have that much longer to live but I don't know because if Makai's mother is anything like her mother then she's gonna live forever <laughs> and then Leilana and Makai's cousin Leah she actually got married to Corinne's sister Marjorie so they are living oh it says Brindleton right now but I actually I guess that yeah I should probably put Sulani because they're both living in Sulani they decided to live there instead. So Marjorie and Corinne's older brother, Wyatt, is actually still not married yet. I should probably find someone for him to marry, but he's supposed to be the Duke of Brindleton Bay. Her mother actually passed away. Duchess Lily passed away, but, du but uh, not Duchess, uh, Duke Victor is still alive. So her mother passed away, so that's sad, but her father is still alive. So he was technically the one with the title. So once he passes away, then her older brother, Wyatt, will get the title of Duke. I am probably, I just gotta figure some things out with the nobility here. Here. Leilana is still like getting into things as queen so I will probably be giving Leah and Marjorie a noble title because I think that Leilana wants to start establishing that in Sulani because I think Sulani is the last kingdom that doesn't have the same noble titles as everyone else and I know that like wouldn't be the case because all these are from different cultures but it's just easier to have everybody having the same noble titles it's easier for this this is not like Based on history, this is fantasy gameplay and a made up world. So that's why we're doing that. But yeah, I just wanted to catch you guys up on that. And then Leah and Marjorie, I think they might just adopt. People keep saying like, oh, get a surrogate, but like that's not possible in The Sims. And I know you could, well, actually no, there is MC Command Center, so we could do that. Okay, yeah, we might do that. They'll, they'll probably have a kid. And then people were saying that we should have James and Ian have a surrogate, but Ian has the hates children trait. So I don't think it's realistic for them to actually have kids. So they probably won't be having kids if Ian doesn't want to have kids. So we're now at the palace of Sulani. So, I mean, yeah, basically we're just kind of waiting it out until she has her baby and goes into labor. But Leilana is in her third trimester, so I would assume that she's having it soon. And then the next kids to age up because Cornelius and Arya, they aged up into teenagers in the last episode. So the next ones to age up would be Princess Genevieve of Willow Creek and then Princess Kimberly. And they were pretty much born like within a day of each other too. So we might just have their birthdays in the same episode and that'll probably be in the next episode. And then Makana and Samaria are next and they're twins. So obviously they're having their birthday together. So they probably won't age up for a while. I don't want it to just be like one after another because I don't feel like that's as realistic. Oh, oh guys, Makai's here and he's talking to his niece and nephew. That's so cute. Oh, okay, well he left, so he's gone now, but that's okay, bye. We'll come back to Makai and Diana and all of them in another episode. We're just focusing on other families for now. Oh, and then Prince Jabari, he actually, I think he might've already aged up into like a middle-aged adult. So I think Amira is actually supposed to age up into an adult adult also in like after she's pregnant, after she has her baby, which like is so weird to think about that she's already going to be like a middle-aged adult because I don't think about that stuff. But yeah, she should be a middle-aged adult. So while we're waiting for Leilana to have her baby, a few updates that I heard. So one, I heard that the gallery is now available on console, which is cool. So you guys can find my gallery ID in the description below. I have no idea if you guys are able to download custom content items because almost all of the stuff in my gallery includes custom content except for like two builds. But I mean, at least it's a start. So yeah, that's that information that I found. And then I also heard that The Sims is now 
now available in simplified Chinese, which is kind of cool because it means like more people around the world can play Sims. And then another thing is that, so, okay. So I know when I got my wisdom teeth taken out a month ago, I said I was working on the history of Windenburg video, which I am, and I have a lot done, but I need you guys to be patient because this is going to take a long time because it's not just like one of the short scenes that I do in the intros of the video. Like it's going to be a lot longer than that. I think I might just be thinking too much into it because I want it to be like perfect and I know it's not going to be perfect. And I need to accept that. But I have like, I had the story written and then I ended up just not rewriting like what happens in the story, but basically rewriting like the format of it. But I have a lot of the footage taken, but I wanted to just give you guys an update on that. And then probably sometime this week, I'll be able to, to like show you guys a picture just to show you guys some progress. I am thinking that it'll be done in a few weeks. I just didn't want to mention it for a while because I didn't want to keep mentioning it when I wasn't done yet. But then I saw a comment briefly about it. So that's why I wanted to just give you guys an update on that. And then another thing, if you guys watched my fairy princesses video, which was a collab with Silk and Sims, I mentioned that I was helping her with a machinima where all the characters have voices or, or like voiceover. So I voiced one of the characters in that. So it's called Blue Moon. I failed to mention that it's already out. So I will link that in the description below. It's really cool. It's a machinima and I am, my character is going to be more in the second part of it, which should, I think she said is gonna be out in a few weeks. So I'll definitely give you guys an update on that. But at least if you wanna watch the first part, it's so good, you guys should watch it. And then there is like a big intro on the characters and you'll get a little bit of backstory on my character as well. So yeah, it's so cool. Okay, Leilana is in labor now, you guys. She's in labor, I'm so excited. Okay, so I did, thank God. So I saw a lot of baby names that you guys suggested, which is awesome. Oh, I don't have a crib here, do I? Oh, this was like the nursery. I think the kids are old enough to like have their own room now. And yeah, cause this is, oh yeah, that's a toddler bed. So yeah, they have their own room now. Okay, I put this little custom content bassinet here that I think works really well for Solani. I also realized, so I, I was like getting rid of some of the custom content and apparently I got rid of one of the beds. So now there's just floating pillows here. So that's fine. I need to replace that. Okay, Leilana is having her baby right now, but like in front of this nightstand, which kind of worries me a little bit. Where are you? The crib is over there. What are you doing? Oh, there's even like leaves on this crib too. I never noticed. Oh, and zebras. That's cute. Okay, guys. Uh, oh my God. I keep calling her Princess Leilana. Queen Leilana. She just had a baby boy. So this is her third baby. And we, I thank God, I already picked out the names. Otherwise I'd be looking at the list forever. So someone suggested a name, which I really like. And it is Kaleo. So I like this a lot. It means sound in Hawaiian. At first I thought it was pronounced Kaleo, but I looked up how to pronounce it and apparently it's Kaleo. And we could call him Leo for short, which I think is really cute. So yeah, that's her baby. She has now three babies. She had a baby boy and I have a feeling I'm gonna have to move the baby because I feel like she's gonna, yep, it's just floating in midair. That's fine. All right, baby, let's move you to an actual bed and not just like on this hard surface slash in the middle of nothing. Oh, he's still floating. All right, that's fine. We'll just pretend we don't see that. But yay, they had their third baby, you guys. All right, they're done with kids. I think they're done. So we are now at the royal family of Guangxi's palace. And I briefly, before we get into the date with Anya and Cornelius, I just wanted to talk about some possible matchmaking options. So one, I wanna talk about Princess Arya again, because some people were saying, I think you should keep your options open for Princess Arya. So I'm really just going to go ahead and like list teenagers and list the kids. And we're, I mean, we're not really gonna do much with them, but just so you guys are aware. So Princess Arya is now a teenager. She should be turning, or no, it's not, sorry. Lord Gabriel should be turning into a teenager pretty soon as well. So these are the lists of teenagers. So Lord Nathaniel is still single. I think he's turning into a young adult pretty soon though. So I. I think there's a kind of a big age gap between Arya and Nathaniel. So if he turns into a young adult, they wouldn't be like dating for very long technically, because obviously you can't have a romantic relationship with a teen and an adult. Uh, Cornelius is kind of out of the option because they're both heirs and I'm not gonna try to put two heirs together because it would just create a whole thing. And I know some people wanted that to be a story, but I mean, maybe in the future, but it's not in the works yet. There's Lord Air. Oh, wait, oh, what'd I do? Oh, I just added him to the group, my bad. So again, for Princess Arya, we have like Lord Lucas, Lord Maxwell, Lord Air. 
Aaron. Lord Aaron might be a good option. And then if we're just looking at kids that might age up soon, so obviously Lord Gabriel. Um, there's a boy named Lord Arian, but that's gonna be way too confusing with Arya and Arian. So we're not gonna do that. So yeah, there is like a good amount of options. I personally really love Gabriel, but I understand that you guys wanna see other options that you think Nea and Philip would explore other options for an arranged marriage for her. So Emperor Zhao and Empress Mei Lin are actually arguing right now. So if you guys saw several episodes ago, Mei Lin, she is having an affair with one of Emperor Zhao's really good friends. So they've like tried to stop the affair, but her marriage with Emperor Zhao is so bad that I think she just needs that like companion and someone to go to when she's like not feeling well and all that stuff. But I think she really wants to be there for her kids and like for her daughter because I think that Princess Anya is more like Emperor Zhao personality wise and Emperor Zhao is kind of, he's not evil and he's not like super mean, but he's not empathetic, we'll just say that. And then Empress Mei Lin is like much more empathetic and so is Araminta. So I think she wants to be there for her kids and obviously Prince Tagashi. All right, so the kids are actually off to school now. So we will have Anya and Cornelius' estate when they get back. I do think that Emperor Zhao is kind of pushing an arranged marriage with Anya and Cornelius because Cornelius is going to be king one day. So he has his ties with Queen Corinne of Willow Creek. So he's asked her if they can set up a date between Cornelius and Anya. I know you guys are super, super pro Anya and Cornelius, which is very cool and fine. And I can I like completely understand where you guys are coming from for that. I do feel like Anya right now, she might grow out of it and she might grow to like Cornelius too. But I do think she is still set on becoming Empress of Guangxi because it's like, it's her homeland. It's her kingdom. And I feel like she she is more drawn to power than she is to love right now. We're gonna get to this in another episode. I, I have something planned, so we'll get to that. But yeah, Anya has something planned, aka I have something planned. Since I've shown you guys Glimmerbrook and we don't get to pay much attention to the Willow Creek royal family, I might just play the date from Cornelius's point of view, just because I feel like we don't get to do that that often and I still want to talk about Prince Cornelius as well. So we're back at the Willow Creek Palace. Uh, it looks like Queen Corinne is yelling at her son because I think he's supposed to be at school and he's not and it's almost three o'clock, but everyone else went to school and work. So he's skipping school apparently. He's not doing very well in school. And then he's arguing with his parents a lot too. Oh, and then Princess Julia wants to invite over Prince Takashi. That's cute. <gasps> Ooh, that would be cute. King Louis is home now and Prince Cornelius is giving his parents an attitude and they're all, all arguing with him in front of Prince Takashi. Prince Takashi's like, well, this is awkward. He's just leaving. All right. Well, you know what? That's enough, I think. Okay. So Prince Cornelius, you, oh gosh, his conflict resolution's going down. Well, he needs to go meet Anya because he's got a date. I'm going to have him take her to this French restaurant in Willow Creek. Okay. So Cornelius has just met up with Princess Anya here. I technically, I can't ask her on a date until we get a little bit of flirting interactions going. So we'll see how, the, oh gosh, oh no, okay. I deleted some custom content, so there might be some bald and naked people walking around. It does look like, I don't think there's actually a romantic relationship yet, but it does look like we can ask out Princess Anya on a date officially. Technically, it's like both of their parents have set this up. I think that Prince Cornelius, I think he might have always had a little bit of a crush on Anya because he knew them as kids and she's older than he is. So I think he always thought that she was like really pretty and they are have a lot they have a lot in common so i mean they're both rebels so i think that they'll figure out what they have in common here okay so they have requested a table so i think they are being seated now wait is their relationship just they're having an unpleasant conversation cornelia no what are you doing no hold on hold on don't no 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 don't insult her what is wrong with you all right well this is not really off to a great start so yeah i do think that cornelius was definitely all for this day and he was excited about it because he's kind of had like a little bit of a crush on Anya growing up. And I think Anya was like, okay, I mean, he's going to be a king one day, so I might as well try. Okay, so they're finally being seated and Cornelius is feeling very 
very flirty. Is Anya feeling very flirty? They have like a very, they should exchange numbers. They have a tiny little romantic relation. Anya's feeling flirty, you guys. Oh, this might be interesting. Okay, their date is over already. It was not the most successful date ever. Well, shoot, okay. Oh, I think she'll still hang out. I don't think she'll like just leave, so that's fine. I do also think that since Cornelius has been such a, like such a troublemaker and he's, I feel like he also kind of spoiled and kind of rude too. I don't think that the kingdom, like the people of Willow Creek are really favoring him as king or as future king. I know that a lot of our kings are really loved for the most part, or like the monarchs are really loved for the, f oh, okay. The food just like appeared. I wish that happened in real life. I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, most of the monarchs are loved by the people. I feel like Cornelius is not really going to be loved by the people. And now Anya's on her phone while she's talking to Cornelius. Let's see how their relationship is now. He's still feeling very flirty. Their relationship hasn't really got, oh, and she's leaving. Oh, is she leaving? She really, is she leaving? Is she just going to leave him? Oh, okay. Uh, no, she went to go watch TV on her own. Are you going to like invite Cornelius? If we come join you, will you hang out with Cornelius? No, this lady just sat down. Can you move? We're trying to have a date here, please. Okay, Cornelius is joining her. <laughs> He's blushing, you guys. He's blush. Oh, he doesn't feel good. Drunk? He's drunk? You're underage. You are so underage. Ugh. Okay, that's... Fine. And now Anya's crying. This date is not really going that well, but they're both feeling flirty. And then this guy is just joining us. All right, Anya walked away again and Cornelius followed her. And now I'm trying to get him to flirt with her again. I think, I think he was trying to seduce her. That was really weird. Wait, no, I just saw the romantic relationship go down. Come back. I keep saying that like Cornelius is trying really hard, but to be honest, I think I'm trying really hard. Oh no, you guys, what happened? Wait, they're went down too, no! Okay, I think Cornelius came on a little bit too strong. Actually, it looks like Anya, oh, she's very tense. Something happened. Okay, let's have Cornelius do a smooth recovery so at least we can end this okay. Oh, well now he has to go to the bathroom and now he's sick. Now he has spots all over him. Oh my God, this just went horribly. They have a little bit of a romantic relationship, so that's a start at least. But okay, I'm gonna end this episode here. In the next episode, I think we'll get to see Amira have her baby, which I'm so, so excited for. So if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.